Okay, everyone, welcome to our new class. This is our week eight and lecture eight class. And this is after our holidays. So welcome back after a short break. So this week focus will be on communication and collaboration. Of course, uh, our focus will be um, uh, in relation to designers focus. This is how uh, interface designers uh, focus on in terms of communication and collaboration. So this is guys uh, we are going to focus on uh, from that perspective. So I would like to think this topic from that perspective. Then that, that perspective is communication and collaboration. Basically, it means uh, how the designers uh, especially I'm talking about um, a, you know interface designer in terms of let's say we mostly have been talking about um, uh, website designers. We have also asked you to uh, design websites and uh, give your you know input about how the website is developed from the designer's point of view. We also asked you in the previous assignment, which was the individual assignment, and that's uh, how different designers, um, uh, you know, you know, use different techniques to build their website. So mainly our focus has been website. So we will see uh, how these slides come up with and uh, what type of key information they contain. Okay, without wasting any more time, uh, we can jump into our slides here. This is what we are. I'm, I'm going to try here. Okay. Let's move on to the first slide here. OK, some of the learning outcomes apart from introduction, we have uh, models of collaboration, which is important uh, for everybody to understand specific goals and contact design consideration. So all will be focused on from the designer's perspective that how they collaborate, how they communicate with different things. It's not just like uh, they are uh, designing a website and they are putting some colors or or some forms or um, doing some other things, but well, mainly from every angle we will be looking at, you know, even uh, when we are talking about, uh, let's say, for example, um, uh, physical things, this is how uh, when they are interacting with someone, how they think about it. It's all about from designers uh, consideration. So anyway, let's uh, jump into our slides here. OK, first of all, guys, it's important to understand, as I have always been emphasizing, then the role of communication is extremely important and obviously is central. Central to understand that uh, how we maintain immediate communication and interaction with close family and friends, collaborators, colleagues, workers, co-workers, you know, and even pets. These days, this is also quite interesting that people are actually talking with their pets. It's quite interesting as well. You know, like a lot of people actually now own pets ever than before. So in the human history, now more people uh, own pets than ever before. So which is quite um, interesting numbers in terms of pet ownership and our relationship with the, uh, with pets. So it's quite interesting, you know, how we are talking to our dogs and cats. Anyway, we will not go into that much, but we will focus something else here, I guess. OK, now uh, we all are living in a, as you know, ever increasing network world where we are collaborating with each other, no matter where we are physically talking to each other or we are talking to each other on the mobile phones, on the landline phones, on our social media platforms. It's all happening. It's all everything is there. So it needs to be understood. This is how we interact with people. So that's why the chapter is important in terms of understanding from designers point of view that uh, we are interacting with someone on a social media platform like say, for example Facebook, you know, so that design also plays an important role. This is like if you type something and uh, uh, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a platform like Facebook or Twitter or X, they call it these days. So what does it look like uh, uh, when it reaches to the other person, you know? Is it uh, efficient enough? Uh, does it convey um, the message in clear terms in, in, in an understandable way? And that kind of information is, I would say, it's quite central. It's quite good, 
quite understandable, you know. So, uh, I mean, think of all that, you know, uh, as we move along to these slides, that social networks, news feeds, alerts have become part of our daily lives. Even, for example, an alert. If you want an alert to be popped up on your computer screen or your mobile phone screen, what will it, will it look like? How will it communicate? How will it collaborate with the user? And that is a part of uh, designers' job as well, you know. So designers will spend time and efforts and energies to design something uh, that will alert the user in the most natural way. It it doesn't have to be uh, too difficult, you know. As, as I always said to you before, that uh, simplicity plays an important role. In, in as and we will also be focusing on that in our next assignment. Which is in which is due in two weeks' time. So designers need to consider uh, the downside and negative exigencies of such systems. What can go wrong? You know, what something might uh, make the user upset, make the user uh, get confused. So our job as a designer is to ensure that uh, the design is simple, easy to use, easy to navigate, easy to understand. It doesn't have to be complex, you know, that's for sure. Communication and collaboration are very important tools and they usually shape up the ability to work and accomplish shared goals with one another. So uh, understanding this psyche of users, making sure that your job is to provide an interface, uh, no matter what interface it is, whether it is an interface of an alert pop-up or whether it is an interface of uh, uh, you are sending a message on YouTube or I don't know, it could be Facebook. You know, what it, does it look like? How does it collaborate? How does it communicate? You know, does it fulfill the requirements of what is needed? You know, so main uh, designers requirements are we have already learned that, you know, making sure the party on the other side, you can call it a second party is understanding what the message is you know without uh, wasting time on understanding the intricacies of the message you know like how has it come so we are here to make sure that our job is to is to is to is to make these things easy you know so please understand the importance of communication and collaboration with users in terms of designer's perspective this is very very important you know so your uh, your design uh, doesn't have to be uh, too complex doesn't have to be uh, long or something which is cumbersome we can we can call that right if we, if we can use that word so it needs to be simplified <coughs> pardon me i have not been feeling well for a few days yeah so, well, anyway, it should be all right. Yeah, it's part of Sydney life, I guess. Okay, guys, keep moving. Okay, now uh, a ne network map made with the uh, Nord uh, Excel software shows the polarized nature of the conversation on Twitter around the hashtag MY2K. So this hashtag, uh, which, which emerged over US a budget uh, struggle in 2012. See, it's showing something, you know, as you can see here. I mean, uh, ask yourself, what message does it convey to you? You know, is it, uh, does it look simple? And does it look, uh, uh, you know, like something you're going to, you're going to take it easily, you know? So, I mean, uh, no matter how you see it, it's not going to, it's not looking good as well, you know? So, we, we um, tend to have, I mean, like, see, look, some somewhere, some somewhere, a uh, conversation is taking place regarding U.S. budget in 2012, and uh, it is it, it is a part of a communication thing, and but it is being shown or it is being designed by users in a very complex, some kind of a an understandable format, you know. So, I mean, no nobody will see that it, it looks good, you know. Anyway. Let's keep moving on here as well. Okay, now some of the polling questions for the students here. Which of these is not an interface style, guys? I leave it up to you to answer me these questions. Okay, I keep answering questions. You know, sometimes students don't respond uh, later. You know, so I ask that. You know, anyway, which of this is not an interface style? A command line prompt, a command prompt, B menus, 
C, natural language, D is voice recognition. Anyway, we will see that later on. Okay, we will cover that in our tutorial classes. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, models of collaboration, guys. Okay, we will uh, focus some more time on this one before we move on to the next topic. And consider a typical day for a digital native. You know, wake up first thing in the morning, check social networking accounts to get the latest news. Go to work and collaboratively edit a report. This is common, guys. This is happening. Post a question to question answer side about the statistical tests needed to complete the report. Each of these activities hinges on communication. So now, I mean, you can think of that. You know, of course, people have different lives. You know, they go to work. They do different things differently. You know, it's just one example, you know. But at the end of the day, guys, you know, somehow communication is involved here. Somehow, if if you are asked to let's say design this something into a like a real uh, kind of a scenario uh, let's say if you are, i mean it, it, then it comes to the job of a designer you know how are you going to design all this thing you know so it's one of the models of collaboration you know so you are collaborating with your uh, office with your workplace where you are editing a report then posting questions on somewhere on a statistical test if it's needed whatever so it's all kind of you know something we need to see as a part of a communication let's move on to the next slide here okay now which of Okay, now I think I'm back. Like, can you all hear me? I think we had some problem here. Looks like it's working now. Yeah, hope so. I think I don't know. It was a internet problem or something. Okay, just give me a sec. Uh, Okay, guys, uh, continue with our um, slides here. Okay, then again, uh, we've got uh, something, as I said to you, uh, it will it will be again a, an important part of a designer's job to communicate, to design this process in which a pure kind of communication is taking place. This is, as you can see from the example we have just seen above. Okay, uh, let's keep moving here. Okay, now, Okay, some of the models of collaboration we are looking at here. Synchronicity, uh, where we have both uh, as synchronous, where the communication taking place face by face or synchronous away from each other. So physical distribution, we're talking about same location, different location, you know, and uh, we're talking about scale, number of communities of practice, uh, nest sense, you know, Planned preeminence. So these are important part of our models of coordinated action. So I mean, if a good designer who is going to design something will have to read something about the uh, seven dimensions of the model of coordinated action, and it helps. And it helps in terms of that uh, how something is being, uh, I mean, done, which in terms of collaboration and what role does. Uh, designer have so don't forget uh, we are we are talking about here and we are speaking from the point of view of a designer that's what a designer is doing here so let's move on to something here uh, then uh, okay we have got uh, turnover as well this is another one right so this is this is 
part of the the you know by one of the dimensions of uh, model of coordinated um, action so let's move on to some of the questions here polling question again guys you know which statement best reflects interaction design interaction design is a new discipline interaction design is a multidisciplinary interaction design combines the disciplines of software engineering and psychology interaction design is an application of common sense we will do again this question in our uh, uh, tutorial class i will give some students in a group some questions and then we will see how you guys respond to these questions so leave these questions here uh, we will do them in our tutorial class okay now in terms of uh, models of collaboration we're going to look at all of them one by one just to ensure that you understand their complications their intricacies this is how they work you know so it's just just to make them easy okay now we talk about synchronicity you know google docs uh, one of the good examples you know its interface showing in this on the left hand side how multiple users can simultaneously be editing a document you know so it's just a good example you know so uh, uh, google docs is really a good example of synchronicity and uh, you can note here the colored flags for different different users offer concrete feedback that signals who is editing a particular part of the document. In the lower right corner, a chat box invites users to synchronously talk with each other, you know, and uh, around the, the other document, you know. So it's really, really a good way of something, you know, good example of achieving something, you know. Once again, guys, uh, when it comes to design perspective, so there must be a designer who have designed this Google page to be appeared while synchronous communication is taking place. And it's really good. You know, I, I'm not saying that this is the probably the best design or that's very, very good. It might be something, you know, uh, I mean, of course, a lot of experts, they put hard work on each of these things and they will be must they must be doing something anyway, you know, to make sure uh, uh, that, that the hard work is being done. To even make that design better in the future and you might see a next version of this design better than the previous version it usually happens it, it has always been happening that way anyway you know we have been living in a constant uh, uh you know improving world where we are making things simpler easier and uh, uh, like and and to look more appealing that's what we are doing so anyway we keep moving to other uh, dimensions as well you know See, in essence, when we talk about the essence, basically, the, the essence is kind of, uh, you know, you uh, look at the degree in which how coordinated actions are already established, or maybe they are, this is how things are done, basically, it might be a routine work, or if they are unestablished, or may, they can be done in a different or new way, you know, which could be like a develop into something new, you know, so it's kind of a, um, uh, that you, I mean, either look at from one end to another end, you know, a degree in which these things are done in a routine way or a degree in which these things are or can be done in a different way. Basically, this is what we are trying to do here, you know, so it's really nice to see uh, something. Then again, oh, excuse me, we're going to look at from uh, like um, point of view of a designer and that how important role a designer can play here. We're talking about the planned preeminence, you know. So it's basically it's kind of uh, some actions. Uh, I mean, coordinated actions might be shorter, where some might be longer. You know, so it's really it's kind of it's, it's normal. You know, once again, um, designer's role is important to understand this degree. That's uh, what to do, how to design something for shorter terms and what to design uh, or how to design something for longer term. So once again, please guys, uh, bring your designer into every dimension here. All these elements, they hinge around, they depend on the designer's perspective. What designers can do, how, what or how and what can be done to improve the, uh, I will say the interface, which will be shown somewhere anyway, you know. So in reality, what is happening here is communication. But you are putting your designer into the center stage here, just to make sure, yes, designer's role is vital, is important. And that role can be incorporated 
in everything we are doing here. What we are doing here, we are doing communication. We are doing collaboration, but we are putting our designer into everything, whatever we are doing here. That's really an important thing here as well. OK, now, guys, um, uh, once again, uh, the next dimension is all about scale, which basically shows the number of people involved. You know, it's easy. Uh, OK, now this is an important one as well. You know, a lot has been done on this one. The communities of practice, uh, like the number of communities of practice, you know, see these communities of practice play an important role as well, you know, so you form groups on, let's say, for example, on Internet, where uh, different, different uh, um, people uh, will, will set up a kind of a web portal or something in which they will be using that web portal to discuss something, maybe any issue it could be if, they, if they're doing programming, if they are doing some kind of networking, if they are doing anything X, Y, Z, you know. So in that regard, uh, it is important that uh, you as a, a designer think about what type of those participants users are, you know. So basically they are uh, multidisciplinary teams. As I said to you, it could be focused on um, doing some project related tasks, doing something, maybe doing a programming using Python language or something. It, it, it could be anything, you know. But then again, the role of uh, designer is to understand the users and then design accordingly. That's something needs to be understood here as well. OK, now we're uh, talking about turnovers, you know. Uh, three examples badges use in the test alternate reality game to signal different achievements during collaborative play. You know, so that is kind of a, you know, it's really a contributor, pioneer, ethical thinker. So this is something, you know, once again, uh, I will say that uh, if we, without going too much into details of how collaboration works, how communication works, we simply focus ourselves on to where, uh, uh, like, kind of, a, I will say, the designers are, you know, what designers sh uh, should think and uh, how their thought actions should play uh, an important role uh, to contribute to uh, different models of collaboration or, or, com or communication, you know. It, we basically, we are trying to enhance communication. How it can be done, designers' role is to get involved and do things which can benefit uh, communicators, maybe different participants, different users, you know. So, well, this is kind of something we are focused on. Guys, keep moving to here. A specific goals and context, guys. You know, this is also important as well. You know, people collaborate. We all know that uh, because doing so is satisfying and productive. We all know that, you know. These days we are living in a world where communication plays central role, without a doubt, you know. And collaboration involves, let's say, uh, we can reap good emotional rewards, we can do socialization, we can interact with others. We all know that this is all what you can see, you know, different platforms have been formed, different web portals are there, people are working hard, maybe people are actually doing their projects, full projects can be done uh, sitting away from each other, and they are doing it. And uh, uh, people are achieving uh, greater goals than they could do alone. So that's for sure. <laughs> Pardon me. Yeah, I haven't been feeling well for a few days. So but anyway, it should be, it should, it should be all right. Okay, let's uh, keep moving here. Okay, now uh, this is the task, you know, where we are living in an increasingly networked collaborative world uh, where the importance of collaborative tools is extremely good and it's very important, yeah? So uh, in terms of how do we meet and transact with people that otherwise we can't, you know, let's say Snapchat, is another is one of the tools one of these apps you know that allows for the composition of photos doodles emojis you know when we send to friends can only be viewed from one to ten seconds as shown by this small clock with the 10 in the left corner of the composition so guys this is how it can be seen so different things are guys happening you know so different ways of collaboration this is a, this is again the job of a a designer to design something that will meet the requirements of one of the social media platforms such as Snapchat, you know, we talk about others as well, you know, 
So there are dozens of dozens of uh, social media platforms and uh, our role at the end of the day is to ensure that uh, we can we can you know we can uh, you know meet those requirements yeah well this is what we are trying to do so my see my understanding is that uh, as a student of designers that you understand the power and importance of uh, design machinery this is what you are so you have got control that, that i mean look in this uh, picture a kind of a, a communication is taking place you know and you are the one who is designing this uh, picture. That's okay. Put it that way. All right. I keep moving to more slides. We got a lot of slides to finish here. So we will be okay. Now, guys, in terms of um, communication and conversation, of course, Snapchat is one of the areas. You know, one of the one of the, one of the platforms which is widely used by millions of people all over the world without a doubt you know online markets eBay probably used by again hundreds of millions of people you know meeting coordination you know dating websites you know creative production uh, github version control you know education massive open online courses so there's just a like lot of areas you know where the uh, different specific goal different contexts they are to be met you know and a role of designers is ever increasing is ever present you know it is there you know so uh, in, i mean ebay will come to designers to say all right we want to design something uh, where two people are buying and selling on ebay you know maybe you know or sending emails to each other sending messages to each other so it's all designers role to coordinate that to develop that kind of environment where two people could or, or maybe more than two people could do communication could do could do a collaboration with each other in a nice way in a smooth way that's what our focus is yeah that's yeah please guys feel free to ask question if you have you can come up with your own examples i'm more than happy to answer your examples you know like your questions you know and if you want to share your examples please do so you know it's really uh, as i've always said to you uh, collaborative class interactive class you know so anyway let's move on to our, our polling question guys okay we will okay i want to do this question in the, in the tutorial time you know if i can if i could please you know so and they all also useful for your uh, exam point of view as well you know midterm test you know so there will be some midterm exam questions on uh, you know i guess you might see them there so let's move on to uh specific goals and context you know, historical 1906 menu from Fleischmann's Bakery digitized by the New York Public Library in collaboration with thousands of crowdsourced volunteers who help type in individual menu items. Note the user interface lists at the right reflects and allows for navigation of items to be digitized. You know. So guys, you know, like, look, I mean, imagine a 1906, more than 100 years old menu from one of the bakeries in New York City. Now it's being redesigned, it's being recreated. You know, people come up with very innovative ideas, you know, what they could do with something, you know. Someone may have found this document somewhere. Now they want to design it. So who is behind all this design? Guys, designers. That's what I've been focusing on. Importance of um, collaboration and communication is is one thing but the role of designers is another that's where all these designers come into action they make it possible that something can be recreated redesigned reproduced with the help of new methods new technologies of design that's what we are looking here Anyway, uh, we keep moving to our more slides. Okay, okay, some more information, guys, here, as you can see here, you know, kind of the uh, bootlegger app. I'm not sure whether you have seen it or not. I mean, it invites uh, and, and allows users to coordinate the creative production of videos around live events, you know. So it creates a kind of an environment which could be uh, useful, which could be which could be could be interesting, you know, if, if you want to try yourself, maybe you can try next time, you know, but it's kind of um, uh, different things, you know. Once again, designers play an important role uh, in, in which uh, how this app uh, interacts with users. 
so this is also important as well design consideration guys some of the factors which need to be considered is important you know we are looking at cognitive factors common ground is important social cues activity awareness interruptions so these are the cognitive factors individual factors include privacy which is always important you know we're talking about um, about 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 uh, identity you know trust and reputation motivation leadership in terms of collective factors we are looking at uh, deviance motivation policies and norms so there are a few things here you know which i will say uh, they need to be uh, taken into consideration you know they are important you know so we as a designers look at from a different perspectives different things uh, we don't leave anything behind we cover everything to ensure that how these things can be can be worked on should be worked on you know yeah these are important things okay now keep moving to okay it is okay when we talk about design consideration guys you know so i mean uh, it's kind of a, a page from twitter uh, how to achieve common ground our uh, twitter um, i mean is one of the uh, important uh, you know like a collaborative tools this platform is used by I don't know, hundreds of millions of people you know and they are trying to show here that how a common ground can be achieved so in this tweet um, we can see that uh, uh, how a tweet, i mean like uh, this tweet on twitter can be embedded references in several ways including referencing another person's account you know and as well as referencing and quoting another person's entire tweet providing vital context and citation for the information Ooh, pardon me all right okay yeah so guys i'm sure you guys may have used twitter if not try yourself and you will see that uh, this design page is another production of a designer so even though uh, in reality in practice communication is taking place here collaboration is taking place here and one person who looks like a journalist trying to write a tweet and post tweet on his tweet account but then this design is something important you know once again you will be asked to design this not that that is the job of the person design this how it should look like you know you know that's important you know so that that is an important thing as well you know all right guys uh we uh we've got a few more things here you know is design from the design consideration it looks like a graph you know but basically uh as i said to you emojis have now become an important part of our um, uh, you know uh intern you know on internet where is they are social media platforms so wherever they are seen everywhere you know so here they are showing uh, something that UK versus US versus Canada versus Australia English. So they have like a different kind of English here, you know. So social cues <laughs> are showing something uh, how different English is spoken in different parts of the world, you know. So it's quite kind of a, including, you know. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, it's um, just the way it is, you know. So, okay, another question, guys. Uh, I, I will probably do this question in the tutorial class, you know. So let's uh, let me finish the slides now. Not many left here. Interruptions, guys. Uh, GitHub dashboard, which is an educational software, it is showing uh, how a project activity over time. Um, and indicating uh, two users who are active in the project, including their overall coding activity as well as vo volume over time. So it's showing something, you know. Uh, I'm sure it's quite an interesting uh, education software. Uh, I would say collaborative tool, basically, which is used by many organizations, especially universities, to you know allow their students to do project tasks using this platform. It's good. Very. Oh, excuse me. Okay, now uh, more details can also be uh, found, uh, you know, by drilling into individual users, you know, so it's a really uh, interesting one as well, you know. Okay, guys, now from design uh, consideration, again, trust and reputation is an important factor. A user page, just, just right in front of you on the left hand side, designed by some designer. 
it shows a variety of social activity contexts, which includes volumes of activity like reviews and photos on elite badge, you know, a graph of rating previously made feedback on the user's review, including if they were useful, funny or cool and other compliments, you know, that this rich information can help others understand the reliability of the user, you know, so this is also kind of uh, important as well, you know. So once again, uh, maybe this person, David Ayman, you know, uh, has got maybe San Francisco, California, has got a kind of a display, you know, but it, it, the more information it can be displayed, the more trust and reputation can be can be achieved that way. You know. All right. Now, the other thing, guys, we have got here in terms of design considerations, uh, we got moderation, this New York Times commenting system that they make mark some comment as time picks with a bright yellow badge indicating it is an exceptional comment and signaling norms about what constitutes an interesting and valuable contribution to the comment thread. I mean, it's New York uh, Times newspaper, people write comments, like people write articles, whatever, you know, and in some time, it's just the way it is. It is being shown. <laughs> oh, excuse me, guys. I, I, I need to get some tablets. Yeah. All right. Okay. Mm, apart from that, uh, we can just summarize our main points here. In some of the topics we have discussed class today, it's been good in terms of understanding the importance of design or designers in the area of collaboration and communication you know so it's really really good one you know the guys more details will be will be doing in the uh, tutorial class you know we're covering everything but i thank you for listening to our week eight lecture class and uh, more details and more discussion will be done in our week eight class so i, I really want to thank everybody to attend you know to listen, listening to me and then uh, i will say thanks very much yeah and yes okay that's good so we can sum up our class now.